Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how static routing can be configured in Cisco Packet Tracer. Whatever the components are required, I have already placed on the workplace. You can also drag this from the same over, uh, over the workplace by using this Cisco Packet Tracer. I'm using three routers, router one, router two, router three, switch one, switch two, and PC one, PC two, PC three, PC four, in which PC one and PC two belongs to LAN one, PC three, PC four belongs to LAN two, right? This is LAN two. And this LAN 1 want to communicate with LAN 2, but it can be communicated in between the routers. The router 1, router 2, router 3, then LAN. Router 1 send the data router 2 and router 2 send the data to router 3, then it will be passed to LAN 2. Similar way to LAN 2 as well. It will be passed through this router. The router 2 is a mediator router, which are in between LAN 1 and LAN 2, right? So let's connect all of them together. You can use the cable to connect all of them together. Done. The configuration uh, is required but before configuration the connections are required you need to connect all of them together now i hope it's look good now yeah fine so now before configuration we need to label the ip addresses which are very important because labeling will allow us to uh, configure easily it will identify like which ip address and where we are using such ip addresses so let's let's label i'm choosing one network id for this lan one and one network id for this lan 2 so let's decide 192.168.10.0 will be for lan 1 and 192.168.40.0 for lan 2 right whatever the ip addresses that i'm going to assign for lan 1 belongs to this network id and for lan 2 belongs to this network id right so there are other networks as well. There are networks between router 1 to router 2, router 2 to router 3. So these two should have a different network IDs, right? So let's assign a network ID 192.168.30.1 for this connection and 192.168.20.2 for this connection. It is 20. I'll assign this as a 20. 20. You can use 30 as well. I'm using for me it's a 20 right 20 for this connection 10 for this connection 20 for this connection and this connection this connection requires a new network id so i'll assign a new network id over here 192.168.30.1 for this connection and 192.168.30.2 for this connection right so this labeling is done so let's assign the ip addresses for lan 1 then we'll go for serial uh, uh, connection between this router to this router then serial connection from this router to this router then we'll proceed for LAN 2. So let's assign the default gateway first. Default gateway will be assigned to fast ethernet 0 by 0. Click on the router, go to configuration, go to fast ethernet 0 by 0, turn it on, assign 192.168.10.1. One will be my default gateway which will be assigned to each of the PC connected to the same LAN. Connect on LAN uh, PCs, PC1 and assign the IP address 192.168.10.2 from the same network ID that I have decided. This is the network ID and this has been decided for this one, right? So now in this case, default gateway will be 192.168.10.1, right? Which I have already assigned to fast ethernet 0 by 0. Same for PC2 as well. Click on PC2, go to configuration and assign 192.168.10.3 and default gateway will be same done for this connection my connection uh, uh, from this router to the pcs are done or you can say the configuration of ip addresses from this lan is done so now i'll shift to this serial port i'll assign to the ip addresses to serial port 2 slash o serial ports 2 slash o need to be turned on and assign the same ip address this one 192.168.20.1 over here done this belongs to class c i'm using class c for every network uh, so it will be easy for you to configure if you want to use any other class you can use you can use in between the different classes as well class c class a class p class c whatever you want it depends upon you but network ids should be different one has been assigned to slash 2.0 or 2 slash uh, uh, serials 2 slash o close this go to serial 2 slash o on the other router configuration assign the same ip address this one to this here turn it on 192.168.20.2 okay done now i am done with this configuration is done because it turns into a green means the signal between this router to this router is on you can send the data from this router to this router but you cannot send the data from pcs to router until my static routing is done i'm just configuring by assigning the ip address go to router again 
find the serial 3 slash o serial 3 slash o is there what ip address is there this ip address is there 192.168.30.1 and done this 30 done one is here you can see and here it is what serial slash 2 slash o serial 2 slash o need to be configured serial 2 slash o and need to turn on assign the same ip address here 192.168.30.2 done this is very important ip addresses should be correct if any of the mistake will be there in an ip address the whole network will be down you will not be able to configure now the similar way whatever you have done in lan 1 you have to do in lan 2 but network id is here 192.168.40.0 click on router find the fast ethernet port and turn it on 192.168.40.1 as a default gateway so i'll copy this one because i need to assign the default gateway on the pcs as well I'll go to the PC one. Here I need to make it two, and default gateway will be one, right? So now for same for PC two, go to PC two, click on configuration, write down 192.168.40.3, and what will be my default gateway? 40.1. Done. Now configuration of LAN one and LAN two is done. Configuration in between the multiple routers are done. Now we need to proceed to the static routing. It's very important. So let's label the IP addresses to the PCs as well. 192.168.10.2 for this PC. 192.168.10.3 for this PC. Same here. 192.168.40.2 for this PC and 192.168.40.3 for this PC, right? Now IP addresses, whatever the IP addresses I'm assigning for the configuration, I have already labeled them. This labeling will help me out for help me out to go for the static routing. I'll click on the router one. I'll start for the uh, start with the router one. My router one having a target of LAN 2. So first of all, I need to choose under the routing static routing. So I need to target set the target. Target is 192.168.40.0. It is asking you for the network ID. You only have to mention the network ID. Do not mention the host ID over it. 192.168.40.0 is my network ID. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Why so? Because I am using a class C and class C default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Right? So in this case, this LAN is further connected to this router and this will be my next hope. Next hope means where from where you want to pass the data. My data will be passed from this connection. Right? So I will write 192.168. Dot 20 dot 2. This will be the next hope for LAN 2, which I need to be configured on router 1. Done. It's added here. Now another network is there in between this one, this network 30. 192.168.30.0 is the network ID. Subnet mask will remain same. Next hope will also remain same because this network also having this next uh, next hope as well. So it will remain same. It's done. Now I do have another network ID which is known as 192.168.20.0. In this case, my next hope will be 20.2. 20, 30, 40, all done. So on router 1, it's done. So let's proceed to router 2. Once you will click on the router 2, here you only have to two, configure two network. One is LAN 1, another is LAN 2. LAN 1 next hope is this one and LAN 2 next hope is this serial port, right? Click on static routing 192.168.10.0 is the network ID of LAN 1. I am configuring on this router 2 for LAN 1 and for LAN 2. 255.255.255.0 and next hope is 192.168.20.1. This is connected to this router but here it is the next hope. The connection will be given to the next router from this point right done now i am configuring on the same 192.168 lan 2 40.0 this is lan 2 subnet mask will remain same but next hope will get changed here this lan is connected to this router but the connection out which is allow you to connect with this router is this one 192.168.30.2 192.168.30.2 the configuration here as done the, this one is configured this one is configured right if if you want to test the connection you can see it's a successful means the connection between this router and this router is done now i need to proceed to the router 
2 uh, router 3 i'll click on the router 3 similar way whatever you have done in router 1 similar way you have to proceed with the router 2 what is my target from lan 1 lan 2 the target is lan 1 so i need to write the network id of lan 1 you can see here the network id of lan 1 192.168.10.0 okay this is very important we always have to uh, remember like what ip addresses we are using and how can be uh, how we can assign the next hop over there right default subnet mask will remain same zero and what will be the next hop i'm targeting from here i'm targeting from here so this will be i'm targeting from here my next router is this one and next router is having this connection which allow my data come from lan 1 to pass it to lan 2 so this will be my next hop 192.168.30.1 done so in between this there is another network this is 20 so i need to add this as well 192.168.20.0 this case this 20 is connected to this router and this will be the next hope my next hope will remain same 30.1 right so i'll add this one as well so another network which is very important this is 30 so i'll change it to 30.192.168.30.0 and next hope will remain same as well. done if you will if you will check all the routers are configured under the static routing there are three routers right let's test from router 1 to router 3 it's successful means we can transmit the data from router 1 to router 3 or can we transmit the data from lan 1 to lan 2 routers are configured let's test it on the pcs pc1 to router 1 successful pc1 to pc3 it's still in process it will take some time no issue we'll try it again because router t needs some time to get uh, configured uh, like 30 to 60 seconds okay it's done let's test this in a more way i'll click on the pc i'll go to the command prompt i'm targeting from this pc this is my 198 one this is my source pc my destination pc will be 192.168.40.30 let's ping it out let's test the connection whether the connection is successful or not i'll write the command named as ping 192.168.40.3 right press enter if you will get the packets means the connections are successfully established in between pc1 to pc3 you can see we got the packets first one is missed because router takes some time to send the data in between the routers so rest three packets we have received if you will test the connection again you can see all the four packets will be received right sync and acknowledge will be received so let's test it in another way if i send the data from pc1 to pc4 in a simulation board and see how my data is transmitted so i'll click on the simulation target this to this play and see this is my packet which is being transmitted to router 1 then it is transmitted to router 2 then it is transmitted to router 3 then it is transmitted to pc switch and then it reached on the pc targeted done i got the acknowledgement means my data has been successfully transmitted you can see how your data is transmitted and what are the different uh, mediums are there which are listed over here in the table you can see it okay i got the successful message means my data is successfully transmitted in between the routers right so this is how we can configure routers if we have multiple routers so in this video we just have learned how three routers can be configured under the static routing in next video we will learn how more than three routers or more than three lands can communicate with each other this is all for the same video if you like the video if you uh, learn something new over there please do subscribe our channel and do like our videos and share the video